Shalom, shalom to the elect of Yashallah. This is your brother Pawaria coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Millstone Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakat Kadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, always, and charity. As you can see, the title is We Already Got Spiritual Power. So for all you people, you people that say we're not going to receive spiritual powers. Well, we already got it, man. All right. Us returning back to our heritage, repenting and being born again. That's spiritual powers. All right. Us having faith is spiritual powers. Us having this word and the true understanding is spiritual powers. Us having the vision to be able to see past this place is spiritual powers, man. To be able to see these prophecies and, and believe in them, man. All right. Okay. And, and us having the true name of our power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, is spiritual powers, man. All right, man. So we got it, man. The, uh, having discernment. The Lord is, is, is gradually building us up, man, spiritually, so that we can receive the spiritual power that he want to give unto us in its fullness. You know, all right? Because the Lord himself said, Yahweh Shai said, ye are yet gods. Because we're gods, man. We And, and the Lord is about to build us up again to be the, the those gods, man. Those, the, to have power over the whole world, man. The Lord made this world for our sake. And everything in it belongs to us, man. All right? So, hey. All we have to do is endure to the end. And and this in as many examples of uh the Lord um using men of the Lord to perform spiritual powers, man. All right, you got Elijah, for example, um sent forth uh sent fire from heaven, Moses departing the sea, Peter walking on water, um the, the, you know, you had the disciples healing people. Samson killing thousands with a, a, a jawbone of an ass. David, King David, you know what I'm saying? Running through troops and leaping over walls, man. That's spiritual powers. And in the days that we're living in now, it's going to require for the, us to have spiritual powers. So the Lord, he, he's going to upgrade us, man. For you people that say being an Israelite is a downgrade. Hey, well, hey, the, this is an upgrade, man, because it's the Israelites, his chosen people, the elect, you know what I'm saying, the 144,000, man, that's going to receive those spiritual powers, man. Okay? So, uh, let's just uh, hop into some scriptures, man. Lord willing, we'll be a, a part of that number, man, that be able to receive uh, these these spiritual powers when, when the time come, man, if we're those men. All right. But uh, let's just get a couple of scriptures, man. Let's start off with. Uh, let's start off with. Matthews. We're going to read Matthews 21. And verse 22. And it reads. And, and this is Yahweh Shah uh, speaking. And it says, in all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. So that just took that that shows you right there. Our prayers is spiritual powers, man. We our prayers is powerful, man. It tells you in Sirach, um, the same things that's uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. So when you speak, uh, so it's good to to uh, pray in the Hebrew, man, because it makes those prayers so much powerful. OK, but. Uh, so we got to make sure we always pray, man, pray without ceasing and and, and pray that uh, that the Lord comes soon, man, to 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 deliver us from our enemies, to to give um, our heritage uh, Cause it talks about when you read. Uh, let's get real quick. When you get Psalms two, 
in verse 8. What does it say? Psalms 2 and 8. And it reads. It says, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So, hey, we have to be asking for these things, man, because it's the Lord's will. As long as we pray for the Lord's will, man, they're going to be answered. Our prayers are going to be answered. And that's the, and it's the Lord's will for us to um, inherit um, these heathens, man. That land, their uh, if you inherit the land, you inherit the people, man. So everything is gonna be in rulership under us, man. Okay. So hey, so, hey man, this is a beautiful thing, man. It, man, it's so beautiful to be into in this truth, man. Cause hey, we was once in this world and and didn't have any hope, man. Our hope was in in this place, man. To, to be whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, to go to college or be rappers or whatever it was, to be singers or actors or whatever it was, man, our inspirations was or desires to do in this world, man, you know, but all that is going to come to naught, man. We're looking for to store our treasures in heaven, hey, because it's eternal, it, nothing, can't nobody take it away. So we're storing up our treasures in heaven, man. We're looking, we're looking past this place because we know this place is about to be done and over with. All right. Because the wickedness of this world is, is reached to heaven. So the Lord got to come and burn this place down, man. It, and rightfully so. Uh, let's get a. Uh, Let's get first, let's see, first John. And we're going to read three. And we'll start with verse two. And it reads, it says, beloved, now are we the sons of the most high power and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know. That when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. So we know when the Lord comes, man. Hey, we know, hey, the Lord is going to lift up a standard. Okay? And and, and we're going to be like him, man. Being able to do the things that he's done and, and more. He, he tells you that in John 14 and 12. It says the the works that I have should that I have done, yeah, you should be able to do greater. Roughly paraphrasing, you're gonna be doing greater. We're gonna be doing greater works. You know, he's gonna allow us to do greater things, man, in these times to come. All right, and ultimately, man, we're gonna overcome death. Our hope is in immortality, like the scripture talks about, man. Um, Lord willing, I get that, but uh. Uh, read one more verse. It says, verse three, it says, and every man that have this, this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. So our hope is, is in, in the Lord coming to this place, man, and, and upgrading us because it incrementally, he is upgrading us to have and receive these spiritual powers, man. We're in a position now so that we can receive these powers, man. Because the Lord ain't about to give these spiritual powers to no, to no nigga. Pookie in on, on, the, on the block. Or, or, or Keisha. And of course we know that, you know, it's going to be men that's going to receive these spiritual powers. Alright, when the Lord come. But he's not going to give it to, to uh, you know what I'm saying? To... To somebody that's a, a straight wicked ass nigga. Alright. That's why right now it's important. To. 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 Repent. And. Receive these words. And. And. and just continue in the faith man. 
This is John. I quoted it. I'm going to just get it real quick. Um, let's see. John 14. In verse 12. Yahweh Shai said. Verily, verily, I say unto you. He that believeth on me. The works that I do. Shall he do also. And greater works than these. Shall he do. Because I go unto my father. Man. The Lord promised us these things, man. All right. So we got these things coming, man. We are of that number. Let's read. Uh, and there's so many scriptures, man. I'm just going to get a few. But. Let's see. Let's read Acts 1. And verse 8. And it reads. It says. But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses. Unto me both in Jerusalem. And in all Judea. And in Samaria. And unto the uttermost parts of the earth. So the Lord is going to give us these powers, man. It's written. It's been written that we're going to receive spiritual powers. And, and it's just going to keep growing and growing. All right. Getting more powerful and more powerful. From glory to glory. All right. Uh, it's that scripture in Luke. It's another one in Luke. Uh, let's get Luke 24 verse Luke 24 verse 49 it says Yahweh Shai said and behold I send the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. See, so once the Lord put his Holy Spirit upon us, man, we can do any and all things he allow us to do. OK, and I wanted to bring this scripture out because when you go into that word power in this particular scripture, it um, it, it, it says to. um. To be able to the power for performing miracles. <laughs> so the Lord is going to allow us once he put his spirit upon us to be able to perform miracles. All right. This is what was what's coming. You know. And like I said, man, the Lord, hey, for the things that's about to happen in this place, man, we got to have those spiritual powers, man. To to be able to to and he also the Lord said he gonna make us his battle axe. We're gonna be become his battle axe. Uh, I think it's in Ezekiel twenty five. Let's get that. Just hit these different scriptures, man. Ezekiel twenty five and verse fourteen. And it reads, 25 uh, and 14, it says, And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord power. So the Lord is going to teach our hands to fight. And he going to, that's uh, Psalms 144 and 1. You know, that's how I that's how I remember that scripture because it's that Psalms 144 and one. Let's just get it real quick because the Lord is going to use us to be his battle axe, man, and equipped us with, with his strength and the ability to do whatever he wants us to do, whether it's to disappear, 
readiness to pick up a tank. Uh, whatever it is, man. To destroy stuff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. Fire coming out of, man, whatever the Lord puts, it, you know, for us to do, that's what we're going to do, man. All right. But I'll just read it real quick. Bless, uh, Psalms 144 and 1. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. So the Lord is going to hey, put all this within us, man. When he put his spirit upon us. Okay. Let's get that in uh, Micah 3 and 8. It says, but truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. So, hey, man, we full of power, man. As long as the Lord keep his Holy Spirit upon us, man. We, we, we got it coming, man. All right. We got these spiritual powers coming and it's going to be upgraded, man. And we telling our people, man, to repent or likewise perish, man. Repent because the Lord is, is coming. The Lord is not. The Lord is coming to the visit this place and, and you don't want no smoke. You know, you don't want to be on the Lord's bad side when he come back to this place, man. Let's get another scripture in Luke. 10 and 19 it says and this is once again Yahweh Shai saying behold I will give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you that sounds like spiritual powers to me, man. Uh, this enemy ain't going to be able to do nothing uh, 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 to us, man. All right. Man, this is what the scriptures are saying, man. And, and, and even if we have to be martyrs, man, the Lord can lift. Hey, man, we're going to have victory over death. So you can't even kill us, man. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's get, uh, Micah, let's, let's get Micah four verse. Shalakia. Four and thirteen. It says, Arise and thrust, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy thy horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. And and when you, man, see, this is power right here too, man. And when you go into that, uh, what's the word? Um, when you go into that word horn, it means to send out rays. So, man, the Lord can allow us to send out rays out of our eyes, fire out of our mouths. You know what I'm saying? Man, this this is the power we serve right now, man. You know? So, let's get uh, Jeremiah. Five. And verse 14. And it reads, it says, Wherefore thus said the Lord power of hosts, because ye speak this word, 
Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. So, hey, we all we doing is speaking the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. These is not our words. All right. So the Lord is going to put his words within us, man, to be able to. Uh, like it just said, man. It said, I will make my words in thy mouth fire and this people would and it shall devour them. So. Hey, that's what's going to happen, man. All right. So. Man. Spiritual powers is coming unto us, man. If we are of the of that number, if we are of those people, man, that 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 uh, that's going to receive this power. All right. Uh, it's another scripture about. Uh. About fire. Um, I uh, can't think of it right now. But uh, another scripture though, man. That speaks about this, this word. It's Hebrews. Let's get that. Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of the most high power is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divining asunder of soul and spirit and the joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, hey, this word, man, is powerful and quick. And the words that's written is all going to come to pass. So these words... Is become is gonna become action, all right. So that's what's that's what's what's about to go down, man. Y'all and y'all gonna be like I tell you in wisdom and Solomon on um, five and one. Y'all gonna be uh, I go about being surprised. Being let's just get it real quick. Because the, script, the, the scriptures can say it better than I can, man. Uh, I'll start off from the top. Verse 1, it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the, before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of, of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So y'all going to be amazed, man, when y'all see our salvation. All right. Because our, our salvation is coming soon, man. And, and so we got to keep our uh, our faith, man. And, and faith is, and like I said, faith is powerful because... The scripture says that if you have just uh, faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you should be able to move mountains. And so how much more tanks? Man, we're going to be move. We can move mountains, man. All right. Being we're going to be able to hey, do whatever the Lord allows us to do, man. And, and overtake this, 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 this wicked queendom. All right. Here it is, you know. You had the base of all men in his powers. All right. Like it tells you in um, Psalms 37 and 5 uh, about how he seen how the wicked is was in great power, spreading himself like a green bay tree. All right. So here it is. The You, you can see the base of all men. Look at how and he's ruling. All right. And he's trying to trying to get everything received. He want to receive spiritual powers, man. He want to live forever. He want that immortality that he won't get. That is that that immortality is, is for us, man. All you heathens and other nations won't be able to receive uh, this spiritual power, man. All right. Let's get that wisdom of Solomon. Two. 
And it reads. It says for the most high power created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. So we're going to have immortality, man. We're going to overcome death. Nothing's going to be able to 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 kill us, man. Nothing. We're going to live forever, forever with our Lord, man, our power. This is what we have coming unto us, man. All right. But yeah, so the point been made. There was a couple of other scriptures that I had, man, uh, had in mind. But uh, let's get uh, let's get a couple. Let's get Sirach. We're going to read Sirach 10. And verse 4. And it reads. It says the power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord. And in due time. He will set over it one that is profitable. That's what the Lord is about to do, man. About to give the power to his his people, man. Because it's going to be more prof, prof, uh, profitable. Because we're going to rule in righteousness. Like it tells you in um, Proverbs 29 and 2. Let's get that. Proverbs. 29 and 2 it says when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn and, and you see when what happens when you you let out the base of all men rule and you got defiled everything the water you drink the air you breathe everything is defiled man all right so the lord is about to set up a a one that is more profitable. Alright. Because hey, we're he where's um his inheritance, man. So he's about to give us everything that he already promised unto us, man. All those things is about to be given unto us. Alright. So uh let's get And so many, man. Let's get Isaiah 40. This right here is, is spiritual powers, too, that we're going to receive when the Lord come and lift up that standard. And in the kingdom, man, all this is, is coming unto us, man. And it's going to be give. It's going to start here on this side, man. Isaiah 40. And Salakia for being all over the place, man. Um, Isaiah 40, verse 29. It says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increase strength. <laughs> that sounds like an upgrade to me, man. All right. Read knowing it says, um, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up like wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Spiritual powers, man. Plain and simple, man. Plain and simple. Uh, let's end it off with. Let's see this, is John. One. John one. And 12. 
It says, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of, of power, even to them that believe on his name. And that's how, that shows you right there the importance of his name. The power is in his name, man. That's why you got to call upon the true name. And, and and so us, man, believing in these in these scriptures, man, the Lord is going to give us that power. You got to believe in order to receive. And our people, man, two thirds of our people can't believe these things, man. It's too far fetched for them to be able to believe that we're going to receive spiritual powers. We're going to be able to run, be able to uh, fly, teleport, whatever, man, it is the Lord have for us to do. That's what we're going to do, man. Plain and simple, man. This is Sirach 19. I'm going to just end it with this. For real. Sirach 19 and 19, it says the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And, and that's what we have now, man. We have that doctrine of life. And, and man, the true doctrine is only one true doctrine. And man, I tell you, that's great millstone that that's that's telling you the true doctrine, man. These other camps, man, are going off. All right. In one way, form, or fashion, they goes off in all kinds of ways. And that's how you know the Lord is making a separation. And Man, it's plain, man. I'm telling you, it's plain. You can't see it. You blind, more blind than uh, Stevie Wonder. Because, <laughs> man, I bet Stevie Wonder can see this, man. I don't know. I'm just, hey, just saying. Yeah, but, uh. But yeah, let's read on. It says, uh, Sirach 19 and 19, it says, The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. That's what we, man, we want that immortality, man. We want to be the first fruits, man, to be able uh, to to enter into the kingdom. So we we're, we're doing whatever it is that we can do now to our best of our ability to to uh please the Lord and, and follow these laws, statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. Cuz man, there's nothing here for the man. All this stuff here is it, not worth it, man. This shit is about to get burnt all all to hell. So no need to hold on to the things of this world, man. When the Lord is about to destroy this, this, this hell hole. All right. Deuteronomy 28 and 18. It says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy power. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. That he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy father as it is this day. The Lord promised us that he's going to give us powers over the whole world, the universe, man, all the planets. We got to, man, he got many mansions, man, for us. You know, this is what the Lord is about to do for his people. All right. But I ain't going to keep going on and on and on, man. But uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. Um, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing this word in truth, sincerity, always in charity. Barakatham Akiyam. We almost out this hellhole. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep um uh, keep our eyes on the prize, cause the Lord is about to come soon, man, and deliver us and give us these the spiritual powers that He promised unto us. And give us the kingdom that he promised unto us. All right. Shalom. I'm Akiya. And Akwa.